ครับสวัสดีครับ um, My name is t a p e s e t t e b o u t and I am a otolaryngologist at the uh, Thammasat University Hospital. Um, today, in the introduction to clinical medicine, what we're going to go over is the uh, review of patient uh, during encounters that you have in the hospital and in the outpatient clinic. So, a soap note, which is what we will go over today, will allow you to easily take down all the information that's necessary to keep track of what's going on with the patient. This is usually your initial encounter with the patient, be it in the hospital or in the clinic setting. You want to make sure you want to understand what the patient's thoughts are and what their reason is for coming to see the physician in the first place. Additionally, you want to pay attention to any cultural etiquettes um, to better make sure that your patients are in a comfortable um, environment when speaking with you. So the S is the subjective aspect of the soap note. So this is actually what the patient is feeling. They're able to describe to you uh, what their primary ailment is uh, for coming to seek the physician in the first place. Some sample questions that you want to consider include what brings you to the outpatient clinic today and how, um, how that person is actually feeling for the day. Additionally, you want to use patient words that they can understand. Using medical jargon can sometimes confuse patients and make the overall encounter a little bit more difficult. The objective aspect, or the O part of the SOAP note, includes objective data points. So what that entails includes things that have objective data that you can record, including the temperature of the patient, heart rate, respiratory rate, blood pressure, and a pain scale for patients who may be in the uh, hospital, say those who may have undergone surgery in the, in the recent past. Additionally, you want to document all physical exam findings. So if you do a head and neck exam, you want to make sure that you evaluate the ears, the nose, and the throat. Additionally, you want to always evaluate the heart and the lungs uh, for any physical exam. The assessment part is, is the physician's way to gather all the information they have obtained thus far and put it into a format um, where they can actually think and consider what the best options are for the patient and what the differential diagnosis could be based on what the information they have thus far. Here you can start to consider what would be your primary diagnosis to what could be your least likely diagnosis for the patient. So the plan part or the P part of the SOAP note includes what your next plan is in treating the patient. So some of these things can include imaging, things that we could consider include an x-ray, CT scan, or an MRI. Additionally, we could also consider lab work if that's necessary to evaluate any lab abnormalities including a complete blood cell count or um, liver function tests. Uh, and then lastly, we will start to consider what treatment options do we have for the patient. Um, do we prescribe medicine? Is that going to be the primary way that we treat the patient? Or is there a surgical need um, for the patient? In summary, the SOAP note allows you to um, categorically record all the data that you've had for the patient encounter. Apart from the subjective sec section that can include the chief complaint, medical terminology is typically used for, for documentation purposes. Uh, you want to be able to be concise but thorough at the same time as you don't want to miss anything uh, that could help you in making a diagnosis and alter your treatment plan. And you want to understand the patient's point of view. They've come to see you to um, assist uh, them with having a problem, so it's better for you to understand where they're coming from. And this will be a great aspect as you continue to learn your process in becoming a physician.